Right from the start I followed Volumio, the free software player for the Raspberry Pi. It's not the only player for the Pi, but for me it worked better than others at that time. Since it's impossible to keep track of all players, I kept on checking out Volumio. And now there is version 3. Judging player software is somewhat personal. The software you are used to is likely to be your favourite. Over time you get used to the menus and the behaviour. And when they improve the user interface, you often initially don't like it. Volumio 3 has its user interface changed in what is now called Manifest. And although you can still set Volumio to the older user interfaces, I love the new one. Already for a number of years Volumio offered its basic functions for free and the advanced functions on a subscription basis. That didn't change, although the new user interface is only available to subscribers. There are several payment plans, but if you agree to a yearly payment it's 60 euros per year, which is what you pay with PC based players like JRiver and Olivana 2, although not on a subscription basis, but for a yearly update. These are the extras you get as a premium subscriber. Multi-room synchronized playback, music and artist credit, Bluetooth input playback and CD playback and ripping using a USB drive. Furthermore you get Tidal, Cobus, Hi-Res Audio and Tidal Connect browsing if you are subscribed to these services. You can use it on up to 6 devices and you will enjoy a dedicated email support. Unique to this new interface is that there is a menu icon in all four corners of the main screen. In the top right corner you can select other Raspberry Pis with Volumio running or group them for multi-room. In the lower right corner you go to the input menu which is identical to previous versions. Favorites and playlists are clear options. Music library, artists, Albums and genres show the content of the selected storage medium, for instance connected to a USB. Media servers show all DNLA and UPP AV servers on your network. I have several, the blue ones are Synology DNLA servers, the yellow ones Minion server DNLA servers and the two red ones are Volumio DNLA servers or Volumio players. I'll get back to that. Back to the input menu where we see last 100, which is your play history. Web radio works like most web radio programs as can be seen here. Tidal and Cobus give access to these streaming services if you have a subscription and the Volumium Premium account. And then there is the menu in the top left corner. The menu in the top left corner shows the setup menus and some extras. I've been granted a premium plan and have it active on my Raspberry Pi based Volumio setups that are used for testing. These are all players I have reviewed earlier. There will be links in the notes below this video on YouTube. It's a Nano Sound one, the Allo Bus, the Allo Katana, the Audiophonics Rasp Touch with iSaber ES9038Q2M DAC and the 7 inch touchscreen and the Allo Use Bridge Signature Network Bridge. The next setup is menu sources. Here you have the USB drive indexed, add Samba shares as network drives and select what input you want to accept. UPnP renderer, SharePoint Sync, which is Apple AirPlay compatible, DNA browser, Bluetooth input, multi-room playback, CD playback and ripping and digital and analog inputs for as far as the hardware supports this. Then you can log into Tidal, Cobus or Hi-Res Audio, again provided you have a subscription. Remain some settings for indexing and display. The appearance menu lets you set the way Volumio looks. For the older skins you can choose another background including your own. 
Once set to manifest, there is little to change and that is no problem since it looks great. Systems let you change the name and run update and network shows the network settings. In the plugins menu you find plugins like Spotify, Spotify Connect, 80s 80s Radio, Hotelradio.fm, Jellyfin, Mixcloud and other internet sources. There also is a plugin for the 7 inch touchscreen like I use here in the Audiophonics Rasp Touch, the network player with built in touchscreen on the Raspberry Pi basis. Another plugin lets you use an infrared remote control. Then there is the Rune Bridge that makes your Volumio player a Rune endpoint next to being a Volumio player and there even is a DNA server. We already saw the Volumio players as servers next to the Synology servers. This was done by installing the mini DNA plugin. Just attach a USB drive, I use the Samsung T7 SSD and fill out the path for audio files. I also changed the friendly name to in this case Katana DNA since I use the Raspberry Pi 3B with an Allo Katana DAC as server. That's all. The music gets indexed and shared over the network to DNA players. That can be another Volumio player but also an AV receiver by brands like Marantz, Denham, Yamaha, Cambridge Audio, Lin, Name and many others. This makes the Volumio software ideal to have music being shared throughout the house. Let's imagine one Volumio player in the living, one in the study, one at son John's room and one at daughter Jane's room. That has its own music on a USB drive in the study. That music can be played over the network in the living, but it can also be played by John and Jane at their rooms. And the music John and Jane have on their USB drives can also be played by Dad in the study or living room. And when John has a party when Mom and Dad are away, he can have his music played throughout the house perfectly in sync. I had no problems with the sound quality of earlier versions. The output of Lumia was and is bit perfect meaning that any sound degradation is due to the hardware used. With simple headboards I like the Raspberry Pi 3B best. And I like the Allo US Bridge signature with Shanty power supply best if you need a USB audio class 2 for your DAC. I have the version with Digi1 signature integrated so it offers me high quality SPDIF as well. The Raspberry Pi with Volumio 3 will appeal to those that like a bit of tinkering. It also gives the feel of saving money, although that is only partly the case. The advantage is that you can start off with a Raspberry Pi with Volumio under a hundred euros. From there on you can, if you seek higher sound quality, get a higher quality sound card and extra features by subscribing to Volumio Premium. Fact is that the new manifest interface, at least to me, feels more intuitive. Which brings us to the end of this video. As usual there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the And Whatever you do, enjoy the music.